Help me, bro! Run! Run! Oh, we all died. <laughs> Wait, I got you. I can res you. What's up, Samurai? We are back again with some more Wayfinder. I have not logged out since the last recording session, okay? I don't want to face the queue times, although they might be better by now. Uh, we might still end up getting randomly kicked. But anyways, last episode was a bit of a longer one. It was part one, of course. And we were able to get through some of the tutorials, some of the intro cutscenes, uh, and then found out that they actually threw me a, uh, a pretty cool version of the game. I didn't get the $150 pack from the devs. I got the $100 pack, so that I, I do have access to the premium battle pass, which means that's why we've got Venomous right away. We don't have any of her abilities unlocked just yet. Um, and I still haven't unlocked friends. That's kind of why like I'm rush recording these videos because I know that you, I, I'm gonna have my friend code in the description once I actually have friends unlocked. Hi Kairos. But anyways. Well met, Wayfinder. Welcome back to the world. What's left of it. It's an ugly business. We're fighting the Shrikes for resources. And out beyond, you've got feral beasts and gloom spawned monsters. What's a Shrike? No, that's okay. I I'm sorry I don't care about the story stuff, dude. I just want to get to the adventure. I just want to have fun. I want to destroy things. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to destroy things, I said. Stop talking to me. Okay. Wait, do you have a quest? Duh! I think the servers are dying is what's going on. I heard her say something about scum. That's one of my favorite words. <laughs> Probably because I am one. Oh, so eventually there'll be a quest line that points us into that guy's house, but hello, open world enemies. Hey, hey, that was a counter, excuse you. Oh my god, bro! Yes! I'm fighting with a random player! This is what I've been dreaming of! Woohoo! Oh, he's gone. <laughs> he looks way cooler than me. I love Wingrave so much, but so help me, Venomous is just so much stronger than him. Give me that go god's blood. And our resource that I desperately need. Rah! Okay, here comes a big Chongo boy. Hey, man. You want to fight? Oh, okay. I can just get behind you then. Beautiful. Just dead instantly. Dude, the fact that we're playing with random players, this has me so excited. Look at this. This is more like it, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I'm so excited to be able to like start playing this game with you guys, man. Especially in these bigger open areas where like the party size is not going to be as limited. Because if you're doing dungeons, obviously it only goes up to like three people. But hey, whatever. Fast row point. Where are you going, Wingrave? Also, delicious Mountain Dew. Okay, where is... Oh, I'm coming, guys. Is this a world event? I got you, bro. Yes! Look at this! Five people that got through the queue! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, giant crab thing! Yes, kill it! Oh dear god, it almost one-shot me. And then it killed me with the tail swipe. Help me, bro! Run! Run! Oh, we all died. <laughs> Wait, I got you. I can res you. I can res you, bro. Oh! Well, first death of the game. I wasn't expecting that guy to be that strong. I don't think anybody was. Hey, guys. Yeah, come on. Stop it! Stop! Oh, that poison's mine. That's pretty good, actually. Get out of the way. Also, I should actually be exploring because now I'm actually gathering resources. <gasps> Including loot! Heck yeah, dude. Because, uh, obviously, like, during the beta and stuff, I didn't really explore much of this world because I was of the mind 
I'm going to lose all my progress. So why would I bother actually like trying to, you know, collect everything? Yeah, but now I can just go crazy. And it's just, it's so beautiful. And the game hasn't crashed yet. <laughs> oh man. Oh, was there that secret still here? Ah, oh, no, it's not there anymore. Okay, well, anyways. Maybe that was just the item, but okay. Another fast travel point, let's do it. Oh, I can only activate it from this side. That's kind of annoying. Bam, bam. Thank you, thank you, Omen. Jeez, it's like a Skype call, isn't it? Like, just leave me alone. Okay, so they have a crafting station here, which is kind of interesting. Hmm. And then we've got a dungeon. All right, which dungeon is this? Um, okay, this is unlocking the... Oh, the Codex Halls. Okay, so this is just going to have it unlocked outright. Let's try matchmaking. <gasps> oh, I thought I found it immediately. I, I, I was gonna say like, let's try matchmaking. I don't think we're gonna have any luck with it. So in the meantime, can I dance or something? I can do, is that a crib walk or whatever that's called? There we go. Oh, actually, you know what? This might be a mistake trying to play with other people because I hope it doesn't disconnect me. Oh Lord, please. <laughs> I just want to play this video game. Get into the game, get into the world. Ah, yes. Oh, everyone's using this, <gasps> but someone's got a great ax already. Great ax is such a cool goddamn weapon, dude. How much gold do I have? Uh, 8,000. So we might actually be able... I see that. How do I get over there? We might actually be able to uh, get the axe already. Don't worry, bro. I'm here, guys. Exploding spiders! <laughs> There's so much fog here, dude. Big yikes. <gasps> Big boy treasure, though. Nom, 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 nom. Shadow Warped Spectra. Okay, that item is so tiny it hurts my eyes. Give me that. Give me your stupid book. Open that, destroy those just for good measure. Okay, good to go. Looks like the others went ahead. That's the only thing about playing with randos. Loot Goblin! Where's the Loot Goblin? It says catch the Loot Goblin, there he is! No! <laughs> Okay, see you guys in five hours. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys this. So I, I play this with a controller and it's a wireless controller so it disables after a limited amount of time. But if I'm in the queue and I turn my controller off myself or if it just disables after a while and I click okay <laughs> and it lo like it locks me out of the menu. So I, I have to restart the game in order to get back into the queue. I, I wouldn't have done that except for the fact that I'm already at the start of the queue anyways, so it doesn't really matter. So here's something that I've heard from a lot of people. Uh, if you go into your game settings in Wayfinder and you disable uh, crossplay, that should end up resolving a lot of the crashes. You're still gonna have to deal with the queue time, unfortunately, but hopefully that'll end up resolving some of those issues when it just kicks you out of the game. Okay, well, I managed to get back into the game. Uh, I've disabled crossplay, and I've also disabled matchmaking for this lobby. So we'll see whether or not that resolves the issue. I don't know if it will, but I have heard from multiple people that there is a high probability that it will uh, get rid of it all. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Well, that was kind of weird, but hey, whatever. Anyways, this is a random side mission that pops up every now and then where it's like, destroy the spider den thing. So unfortunately, even though, you know, I want to play the MMO side of things, we can't. Instead, we're just going to adventure and uh, do it all myself. Yeah, get out of here, you slimy scum. You slimy, stupid idiot. Give me all that precious loot. I just, again, I just want to get to my friends list. That's the main goal. And then I can just stop playing for like a couple days or something. <laughs> Give me all the gold. Oh God. Seems like they still have a lot of issues with the camera as well. 
that was that was kind of something I was hoping they would rectify a little bit with the full game. But hey, whatever. Well, full game, early access. We're basically playing beta anyways. Okay, these are self-explanatory. But I still like them. I'm not going to pretend that I don't. There's lots of like little random mini games that you can run into uh, while you're exploring, which is really, really neat when you think about it. Like, I always appreciate when a game has these little distractions to kind of keep your mind occupied. And Wayfinder kind of has a lot of them, which I appreciate, you know? Hey, goblin man. Shaw, get out of here, you stupid hilly churl. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. I, I really need not only my other abilities, but I kind of wish that I would have... Um, I wish that I had the daggers, dude. I just want the nightfall daggers. Okay, I hate this room. <laughs> Off to a great start. I hate this room because I never know where the treasure is. Because there's all these little alcoves, and then it just always pisses me off. I don't know, my ADD kicks in, I guess. There might be a secret entrance in there somewhere, but I don't care. We're just gonna go, 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 gadget, go. I had a mini heart attack. Hey, goblin man. Hello? So, it's weird. It seems like the, uh, maybe, maybe our ability is reliant on the range of our weapon. I could be mistaken. I don't know. Just because I think the point is that if we had a gun, uh, you know, we're if we were using her uh, rifle, then maybe I wouldn't have to get so up close and personal to these enemies in order to actually, like, hit them with my venomous strike thing, my special ability. Hi, spiders! Ah! Dude, with how much people, like, get out of here. With how much people have, like, arachnophobia, I'm kind of surprised that this game even has spiders. Even though they're kind of cartoonish World of Warcraft spiders, but hey. Oh. Kind of wish that it would have carried the momentum of the damage. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, looking at my mini-map, it doesn't look like there's anything else there. I think it's just this way. I like how the right path is kind of lit up by all of this junk. Like all the torches and stuff. It's just... I don't know. There's just something about this game I really like. Ooh! Okay, we got this challenge here. So this, as far as I know, is a defeat as many enemies as we possibly can to fill this thing up. In order to uh, get a better reward. Which I don't know if we'll be able to actually uh, beat it in time just because of my lack of abilities right now, but maybe. Just because Venomous is so freaking OP. Did I win? I think we won. Thank you. Give me the... Oh my god. Our uh, weapon is actually what's leveling up a lot. Bruh, I can't get on the ladder like halfway. I, I have to climb it from zero. That's kind of lame. Okay, so that's the right way. But... Treasure! Shiny! Get, get out of here, you little gomulin. Freak. Oh god! Ooh. All right, skill. I've played video games before. <laughs> Is this a mimic? Yup. It was a mimic during the beta as well. Oh my god. So, fun fact, uh, I hope it's not like a spoiler or anything, but there's actually a uh, boss that is a gigantic mimic monster. Pretty cool. Can I not open this door? Wait, it, it just did it. There we go. Weird. All right, where's my treasure? Did I already get it? I guess that was it. Honestly, I should have just gone back the other way because frankly speaking, I don't like this ladder. Can I just grab the ledge? Yes. <laughs> Please help me. I'm having too much fun. Like that's, this is, I'm so like brain dead and like stupid. I can, I, like, I can totally see why some people would not find this game appealing, but there's just something about it. It just, like, tickles my funny bone, and just, I just have so much fun playing this game. I'm, I'm just so ecstatic that I'm actually, like, on right now. I, the only way I can play this game is in the middle of the night, which is unfortunate, but so help me. 
so help me i'm having a good time and i i'm again i'm so excited for when the servers are more stable and i can play this with you guys because it's already a good time like let alone playing with friends come on dude yeah take that idiot I find it funny how so many like people are being, you know, negative Nancy's with this game or naysayers, even though like no one's really gotten into the game. So it's kind of like I understand the justification for people being pissed, especially because they paid for this freaking game. But I don't really understand people saying like, oh, anyone who has a positive review for this game is they're just an idiot that just likes supporting stupid developers or something. And it's like. Dude, these devs are trying. I'm not gonna completely be one-sided and like say that, oh, everything that they do is God tier, but this is just modern games. You should just, everyone should just expect games to not function when they release. <laughs> like, it's funny. People are trying to say like, ah, oh, Boulder's Gate functions right away. It's like, that's not an online game. It doesn't rely on like servers or issues like that. It's just, I don't know. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Die, you stupid idiot! I need my other abilities, bro. I don't have any of my AOE skills yet. Get off of me, you little freak! He's eating me, dude! Stupid goblin. Excuse me? I did just use my uh, ability, but for, for some reason it didn't actually, like... It disappeared. Anyways... I win, and you know what? I might be jinxing it, because I could have just gotten lucky, but I think because I turned off crossplay, and because I turned off matchmaking, I think it helped. I think it made it actually run properly. Kind of sucks when you think about it, because it is supposed to be an MMO game, but <clears throat> whatever. I don't know. I think that maybe that could be a quick solution the devs could do is just make it so that you can't match up with people that aren't on your friends list or something hello game let me in now please don't you kick me don't don't do it okay thank you see all you gotta do is yell at it and then that fixes it okay speak to lord hello at high the uh, skylight all right now unfortunately ooh, or give me that Unfortunately, I don't think... Yeah, 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 there's a map, I get it. Uh, they didn't fix that issue, okay. So, a big complaint that myself and a lot of other people had during the beta of this game is that we had to go back to the Great Lift in order to actually go back into Skylight. I kind of wish that there was a fast travel point on the map that would just allow us... Ooh! Skeleton key. I don't have one. Damn it! I, I wish that I could just open up my map and then there would be like an option over here or something to just go into Skylight so I could avoid dealing with multiple load times. Now I'm distracted though because I think there's loot around. Yes! I could smell it. There we go. It's just memory fragments, so it's not that big a deal, but whatever. hi yeah. Ooh, I tried double jumping, but thankfully fall damage doesn't seem to be a thing. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go back to town now. Dude, I have this game installed on my SSD and the load times are still atrocious. Then again, it could probably just be because the servers are dying. I hope. Copium, 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 because dear Lord, uh, the load times are going to destroy me and break down my very soul. Okay, um, you know what? Before we go over there, oh, I was gonna say we could go to the market, but if I'm not mistaken, the quest is going to allow us to get to the market eventually anyway. Oh. Okay, so there is a, a long animation for fast traveling now. That kind of sucks because back when I was playing the beta, it would just teleport you instantly, and I preferred that. It's called fast traveling for a reason, after all. <laughs> I know it doesn't look as fancy as, you know, having an animation, but yeah, there we go. So now we got to go to the market. So this is the game trying to... Can the UI stop being broken? There. I was literally spamming the button to try and select that fast travel point, but it just refused. It refused, bro. Okay. So now they're teaching us how the marketplace works and getting all the items and junk like that. Hello, idiot. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I 
see a wayfinder. <laughs> and I hear a beautiful voice. Oh my god. Talk to Venge uh, about the supplies they offer. No, I want to see what you've got first. Okay. So, whoa. Pretty cheap as far as the gold side of things. So we could get the slicer daggers. Those are cool. Probably going to grab the axe just because it's such a beautiful weapon. Um, however, I wanted to see... Where's where's my beauty? These are quests? Oh. Huh. Okay. I wanted to see these bad boys right here. Okay. I really want these daggers. Like, the Knight's Edge are just so gosh darn good. I mean, I could spend my rune silver, but I think I'm going to save my rune silver. Uh, let's see. So, these are going to require me... Yeah, that's going to take a while. So, I need to use a Shadow Mutator on certain dungeons. This is going to be the stuff that I'm going to have to grind on stream because there is no way that I'm going to be able to do that uh, right now, like with you guys in these videos, just because of how tricky it's going to be. Anyways, let's get the Typhoon because that's one of my favorite weapons. It's not going to match our character at all. <laughs> uh, and unfortunately, we lost all our levels that we just had with uh, the Vanguard. And you can see it's actually stronger than the Axe. But the Axe has insane break power. So I don't care. Oh, dear Lord. Priority quests. Uh, okay, cool. Anyways. Also, they're saying character. Yeah, I know the Echo menu. So the Echo menu is basically mods from Warframe. You can see there is the sword icon. So this is literally like mod affinity. So we can use the shield icon and I can't equip that because I'm already at capacity for my mods. I don't know if there's um, pri prima ing. What, what do they call it when you re-roll a weapon to get it more echo capacity or whatever? I don't know if that's a thing. Oh my God. Choose an ability to unlock. I want the dash rather than the uh, vampiric blast. Although that is a good ability. Let's, let's get the dash. The dash one is really, really good. Okay. Three, five, or nine. Oh, that's why it's saying, okay, so you could unlock the ult at level five or the other abilities. I see. Well, at least we got that ability. So that's that's awesome. Heck yeah. All right, hey, stupid. Craft a basic elixir or something. Uh, Okay, craft consumables. Let's see. The basic arcane elixir. This is the one that he wants us to craft. Thankfully, we have all the recipes for it. Um, provides use of a basic arcanic elixir one effect increases weapon power by 25% up to a maximum of 120 for 60 seconds satiates the user increasing all XP gains by 5% for five minutes. I see. I don't think these come back. Hello. Okay. Weird. I, I don't think we get those again. I think that they're just gone once, uh, right. Once we consume them, I don't know. Okay, um, talk to the engineer about accessories. Where? Oh, this guy. So accessories are kind of the armor of the game, if you want to even call it that. There is the great craft relic. Okay, let's see. What can we even craft? Can I craft anything? Probably not. Is there a way to sort by show only craftable items? Yeah, there we go. Nothing. Can't craft nothing. Lame. What about for weapons? Can't craft anything. Didn't expect to. Okay, so that's uh, that's going to end up being our quests for a while. But at least we got our axe and we got our first ability. So our first ability basically lets us kind of dash forward and leave a cloud of poop on the ground um, that will poison enemies. I think it does a heal too, but I'd have I'd have to double check. I think it's just poisoning them. It's very very useful though. Hi, Omen. As you know, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I get it. Okay. Return to Lord Hala. Oh my God. Okay. So our axe actually leveled up. Good to know that the XP we're actually getting out of here <laughs> is uh, is going towards like whatever weapon we have equipped. Okay. So now we actually crafted the Brood Mother. So we might be able, yeah, enter the Broodmother's Lair. All right, all right, all right. Let's see where we're at for our episode time. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, um, 
we're going to call it here. Uh, I know that we kind of are ending it on a little bit of a cliffhanger and a lot of you are probably very frustrated because I mean, this is just the tutorial. We're barely even an hour into our actual save file. But again, I'm stocking up videos at the moment until hopefully the server's issues have been resolved. And this, this episode that I'm recording right now, I've recorded right after the last one. Uh, and I'm actually gonna go right into recording the third one as well. This way, you know, I kind of get to just chill a little bit and wait for the server to get a little bit more stable instead of, <laughs> instead of, th th these episodes are taking me like many hours to finish recording because I'm sitting in the queue time all the time. But anyways, I, I hope that you're okay with that and I hope you'll forgive me uh, temporarily while we kind of drag out the content a little bit. I mean, frankly speaking, we already have like so much Wayfinder on the channel, but anyways, Thanks for watching. Smash like stuff for more. Buy the merch you want to support the channel. Sign or and stay epic. Oh, crap. Uh, lastly, I noticed that I actually had my social menu. I, I finally got it. Woohoo! Okay, so there's my friend code in the top right, gamers. Uh, I'll, of course, have that in the description of all of my videos so that you guys can always add me up. And uh, hopefully the friends list doesn't have a max capacity like it does in so many other games.